Yeah, the trial is still going on in court behind me here right now. Six witnesses were called to the stand today. We know that two of them were computer forensics experts that investigated some of the evidence that was presented in this case. Now, the jury got a detailed look and description into how that evidence was seized and investigated. The computer forensics experts testified that as they were going through the HP computer taken from wholesale motor cars where Duggar worked, dozens of images and videos depicting sexually explicit material of minors were found. Prosecutors also questioned the experts about the Tor browser, which gives the user access to the dark web and to remain anonymous while doing so. A special agent testified that he led the search at wholesale motor cars and confiscated evidence such as the HP computer that was in the office, a laptop, an iPhone and thumb drives. However, an investigator in charge of reviewing the contents of the electronics testify that evidence of child pornography was only located on that HP computer, not in any of the other ones, which led the defense to argue that someone else could have downloaded that material onto the HP computer, not Duggar. Now, we also heard from a couple other witnesses in this case. Duggar again is charged with one count of receipt of child pornography and one count of possession of child pornography. Of course, he faces up to 20 years in prison and $250,000 on each count if convicted. We're live in Fayetteville, Cole Zimmerman, 4029 News.